Okay, so today we are looking at the 16 marker with four marks for spag on your health and the people topic in paper two. As it's 20 marks in total, you want to make sure that you're getting this right. Okay, so I'm going to talk you through just the mark scheme very briefly and then show you how I would structure a paragraph. The question is going to be phrased like this. So, have individuals been the main factor in improving the treatment of disease in Britain? When it says the word factor, what it's asking you to look at is these different factors that we've studied throughout this topic. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to be looking at the role of the individual, government and superstition and religion. You need to be able to make reference to various different factors. Um, but if you have actually have a look at the mark scheme, you'll see that the factor that's stated in the question doesn't necessarily have to be discussed up until the 9 to 12 marks out of 16 on the mark scheme because you'll see it says developed explanation of the stated and other factors. Now what this means is that you can go into the exam with a rough plan of what it is that you're going to do knowing that you can already achieve 8 marks out of 16 if you fully explain that and link back to the question. The important thing to be aware of is that the question is asking for reference to the stated factor and other factors and you also need to use examples from your study of the health and the people topic. Now you need to be able to include two examples from two different time periods in each paragraph. So I'm just going to make a rough plan looking at three different factors using this overview sheet which hopefully we would have had provided to you by your teacher. Now, I'm going to start by looking at the role of the individual, is that that's what the question is asking about. So, I'm going to pick um, an example from the Renaissance and then from the uh, modern period. So, if we look at the Renaissance, my example is going to be William Harvey and his ideas regarding the heart. So, specifically, the fact that he discovered that the heart acted as a pump. and circulated blood throughout the body. This disproved Galen's theory, the fact that blood was created by the liver. So this is really important because it shows that they're moving away from ideas um, of superstition and religion. My second example is gonna be from the modern period and I'm gonna look at Alexander Fleming and the discovery of penicillin which was initially kind of overlooked by the government, but once its use was understood on the battleground, it was funded heavily and produced widely, so it became a very common antibiotic. So I'm going to look at religion, superstition and religion, for my other side of the argument, um, and we're going to say that in the medieval times, they believed that God sent illness as a punishment. Now... A positive of what they did do in medieval times, and I'll just have to go down there because I've filled the box, was build hospitals. Now, those hospitals were used to care for the sick and the dying rather than, rather than cure them because they thought it was God's will. Now, in the Renaissance, those ideas start to limit the progression of medicine. So that's the point that I would make, the fact that they limit the progress of medicine. And particularly, because I will have already discussed Harvey in my first paragraph, I'm going to make the link there and explain that Harvey's ideas were ridiculed. Especially as they went against the ideas of Galen, who supported the One God Theory and so was supported by the church. Now, my third paragraph, in order to achieve the highest band of that mark scheme, which is 13 to 16, would need a third factor. So my third factor, let's say, will be government. Now, um, during the Renaissance, the government had a very um, laissez-faire attitude towards government intervention, which meant they didn't really believe it was the government's job to actually help people improve their um, living conditions. Now, I can use that as an example, the fact that they had a laissez-faire attitude... That begins to change in the 19th century and we see that 
in um, legislation that is passed, such as in the 1848 Public Health Act. Now, this suggested that local areas should kind of build sewers and clean up their general um, living conditions. Now, that was not compulsory. A compulsory act was made in 1875, and it made the above compulsory. Now, what you can see from that is that the government is starting to change their attitudes towards um, the support they provide for um, people in their areas. And that means that they start to intervene and they start to make local councils actually clean up their towns and villages. So what I'm going to do now is actually show you how I would write this first paragraph. So it's always a good advice to actually reread the question before you're going to answer it. So have individuals been the main factor in improving the treatment of disease in Britain? Now, the first thing you need to do when answering any question is to reword the question. So I'm going to start by explaining the factor, the fact that individuals have been very influential in the progression of medicine. So I would start by saying, to a certain extent, individuals have been the main factor in the development of medicine. Now, what you need to do is give two examples from two different time periods. So my first example is going to be William Harvey. Um, so I would say, for example, William Harvey um, had a big impact in disproving the ideas of Galen. Now, I need to say how he did that, so I can simply give my example of the fact that he discovered that the heart acted as a pump. So I can say, um, through his dissections, Harvey was able to prove that the heart acted as a pump. that circulated blood throughout the body. Now, to develop your contextual knowledge slightly, you could make the link here and say that, you know, whereas Galen had believed, um, that the liver created blood, actually created it. So I would include that because that will develop your explanation further. Um, Galen had believed that blood was created by the liver. Now I then need to go and give my second example from a different time period. So back to my plan, I'm going to go and give an example of Alexander Fleming from the modern period. So I'm going to say, additionally, Fleming discovered a bacteria which he then produced produced as an an oh sorry as an antibiotic known as penicillin It's important to explain why that was such an important discovery and, and how it fit in the context of the time. So we can say this was initially overlooked by the government. But once they realised its benefits on the battlefield, they actually began to widely produce it. So we need to make that point. So overlooked by the government, but once they realised its 
potential on the battleground. The antibiotic was funded and produced widely. Oh. So that would be two developed examples, two different time periods, supporting the point that individuals had been the main factor in the development of medicine. What we then need to do is link back to the question, and this is where your explanation um, is really important. So we do that by saying, therefore, as a consequence, as we do in many exam questions, therefore, as a consequence, and then we reword the question again, so like I have done up here, um, individuals... have been the main factor um, because their impact has been far reaching. That's quite a general statement at the moment, but I am going to develop it further and explain exactly what Harvey, um, how Harvey developed medicine and how Fleming developed medicine. So I'm going to say Harvey had a direct impact on others developing blood transfusions as that wouldn't have been possible without understanding that the heart was a pump that acted that um, acted as a pump that circulated blood throughout the body. Um, we could also say you know and transplants. Again, because he's making very important discoveries about the heart. Um, and we can say what Fleming's specific impact was. So, and Fleming is responsible for the common use of antibiotics. Now... What I would then start to do is kind of make links to what I'd said back at the start of the paragraph about how these individuals had begin, begun to disprove the ideas of, of religion that were very popular during the medieval period. I can do that just in one short sentence by saying, um, without these individuals and others, uh, the traditional ideas... of religion and spirit, spirituality would have gone unchallenged. Now that is a fully explained paragraph, two examples from two different time periods and linked back at the end. What you can see here is that I'm beginning to make links to my other paragraphs, which is going to be a really crucial thing for those people who are going for that top band in the mark scheme, because we need a complex explanation, which does mean, in some way, making links between paragraphs. So what I'm going to show you now is just um, an example of the second paragraph. Rather than writing it all out, I just thought I'd show you and talk you through some basics about what we need to discuss on the other side of the argument. So you'll see that my other side of the argument is going to be about the factor religion. So again, I've reworded the question. However, others may argue that religion has been the main factor in the development of medicine. Now again, I still need to give two different examples from two different time periods, and I've referenced specifically here the medieval period. So during the medieval period, the church was primarily responsible for providing health care. The church built around 700 hospitals, and you can see that's a specific example, um, throughout England which cared for the sick and dying. Now here is where I start to kind of pick apart the influence of religion during the medieval times, because although they did provide hospitals and health care, there were still some limitations. So let's see how I've done that. However, these hospitals were not encouraged to search for cures because they believed death and disease was God's will, and so only cared for the sick by providing a clean and comfortable environment.
I then need to bring in a second example. So I'm going to start talking about the influence of the church in the Renaissance period. Um, the influence of the church began to hinder the development of medicine during the Renaissance period, specific reference to a time period, as they refused to accept new ideas and discoveries from individuals. And you'll see there that I'm starting to make just small links back to the first paragraph that I've written um, on the role of the individual. And I've used the same example from the first paragraph. William Harvey and his discoveries um, concerning the heart were discredited by the church during his lifetime as they went against the ideas of Galen, who the church su supported due to his one God theory. Now, I then need to, again, link back to the question. You'll see, though, that this is a slightly more negative paragraph about the influence of religion. That's OK, as long as we're explaining how they impacted on the development of medicine. So again, we link back to the question by saying, therefore, as a consequence, even though the church did offer the early explanations of disease through the ideas of Galen, so I've referenced some positives there, their overall influence was more of a hindrance and actually stopped medicine from progressing, progressing as quickly as it could have done. Now, those two paragraphs would be sufficient to achieve um, somewhere in this band, a developed explanation of stated, because we've talked about um, the individual and other factors. What you would need to do in order to achieve this band of the mark scene, so 13 to 16 marks, is actually include a third paragraph, which if I were going to continue writing this, I would do a third paragraph on government and their influence on the progression of medicine. You would also need to include a conclusion. Now, the main advice for a conclusion is that you compare the different factors that you have used to explain why the main influence is more important than others. You would also need to begin making links between your different paragraphs. And just as like a bit of a pointer, if I were going to write my third paragraph on government, I could start to make the link between um, government and their intervention and... Alexander Fleming's discovery of penicillin because without government um, actually Alexander Fleming's discovery of penicillin might not have been as widely distributed and produced um, as it actually was. So that's what you need to do in order to achieve in a 16 marker. Main piece of advice, go in already knowing some factors that you could discuss because remember just for five to eight marks out of 16, you can explain one or more factors using specific but simple factual knowledge, okay? So go in knowing what it is that you're going to discuss, knowing full well exactly what your examples are going to be. And good luck.